In our previous video, we talked about the six most common vines that kill trees in residential neighborhoods. Here are a few more, some of which are found more in unlandscaped areas. We also talk about two shrubs that climb up smaller trees and kill them. The most important point is to learn to dis distinguish them from native vines, which may look similar and should not be disturbed. As the name implies, the waxy leaves of five-leaf akebia are grown in clusters of five, each one notched at the end and may be evergreen in a milder winter. It can grow up to 40 feet in one year. Some think the purple flowers smell like chocolate. The stem is green when younger and turns brown with age. Watch out for native Virginia creeper which also has five leaflets. Sweet Autumn Clematis can climb up to 30 feet. The sweet smelling flowers have four petals and that end up looking hairy later in the season. The compound leaves have three to five leaflets, each of which has a smooth edge. This is how you tell them from the leaflets of the native Virgin's Bower, which have a few teeth. Kudzu forms a huge tuber from which the vine regrows after cutting, if not dug out or treated. The vines can grow a foot a day. The leaves have three large leaflets, which are hairy underneath. The flowers smell like grape juice, and the seed pods are brown and hairy. Japanese hop is an annual vine that regrows from seeds. So the trick is to pull it out before it goes to seed. With its five or more lobes in the leaves, it may look a little like native Virginia creeper. Mayo aminate vine has little prickles on its stem, which gives its other name, devil's tear thumb. The leaves just before the colorful berries are wrapped around the stem. This is another annual vine which needs to be pulled up before it goes to seed in August. Multiflora rose is a shrub that can climb up and smother shorter trees. Like any rose, it will regrow if you cut it back, so it's best to dig out the roots. Older shrubs, where the stems have turned brown, may sometimes die just by cutting them back to the ground. The flowers are white unlike our native Carolina and swamp roses, which have pink flowers. Another difference is the hairy stipule on multiflora rose. Be careful not conf to confuse them with the native green bruyer. The thorns of green bruyer are mostly straight, while those of the rose are curved like a cat's claw. Native blackberries also have curved thorns, but their leaves are larger and their stems have ridges, while the stems, the, the rose stems are round. Thorny Iligonus is another shrub that can send shoots up to smother trees. Leaves are evergreen and silvery on the back. The flagrant flowers bloom in the fall. Thank you for saving our trees from the invasive non-native plants that threaten them.